all you wonderful people, welcome to Chaos Craft, episode four. Last episode, we were playing with Con Man. We were showing him how to build a house, how to make it pretty, how to add them roofs, how to add all sorts of wonderful aspects to make it pretty. And we have some new developments on Alpha's house. He is just expanding. He's got a ton of roofs. It's a lot. That is a lot of roofs. And I think that we should work on making our house have maybe maybe a little bit, just a little bit more roofs. Not nearly as much as that one, but just a little bit. I think um, once we have this done, we, we might move out. We might stick around for a little bit, but um, it is nighttime. I'm going to go take a nap, and I'm going to figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing today. So I'll see you in a second. Darn it, Biggs. Come on, get in your bed. Take a nap. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thanks. I just want to take a nap, Bixie. Let's just eat these carrots. <laughs> Great. So, I think that we are going to check our supplies real quick. We have enough for some roofs, maybe. Um, we don't have a lot of cobblestone, so what I'll do is we'll cook up some so that we can have some stone brick for the roof. We're going to be needing a lot of them. Ow, my hand. We have enough iron. I think what I'll do is I'll make ourselves some new tools real quick whilst I talk about what we're going to be doing. Um, so a couple episodes ago, maybe last episode, I, uh, I we, we started up and I had already made the facade. And I don't want to keep you guys out of the loop. But some of you did suggest that I work on things off camera. So I'm just kind of a bit unsure about what I should be doing, what kind of role I should be taking in this whole Let's Play thing. You know? So, um, I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, build some stuff. And it's gonna be really fun. And you guys are gonna love it. Because it's cute. And, ooh, I got potatoes. Let me take half of these. I'm gonna cook the potatoes, yes, yeah, see? And anything else? We got charcoal. Okay. That's fine. Let me take these and put them inside. They're being used. They're not being used very well outside. So, we'll put them back in the house. Oh, don't click. Another thing, I, another reason why I stopped recording was because that my computer was lagging because I had like Audacity open, Sony Vegas open, everything open, and now it's running a little bit smoother, but not too smooth. Fifty six, sixty five. Oh, what's going on? My laptop is crapping itself, but it's okay. What I need right now is actually some half slabs, but we can work with our stairs. Let's make a small roof right here, and then we'll make a big roof coming up. And then it's going to come down. So let's see if we can get up there. Let's get some dirt. I have some dirt, right? I'm trying to collect some supplies off camera. And it's not working. I get bored. I want to just talk to you guys. I, don't, I miss you. And, and I just want to say, guys, that up to recently, now that I've started Chaos Craft, there has, like, it's been the nicest like comments, stream of comments that I've ever had in my entire time of recording on YouTube. And I and I and I, I just love it. I love hearing from you guys. I and, and it's gotten to the point I never used to reply to like all my comments, maybe only a couple. And now I want to reply to everyone because they're just so awesome. And I just want to say that some of you, I really need to reply. Like there's a question, and I can answer it, but I can't because you probably have a setting on where I can't reply to your comment or any. No one can reply to your comment. And I don't know what that is, but I really want to. And I just want to let you know that there was a few guys that I need, I wanted to reply to, and I couldn't. It was just kind of something that they had going on with their account. So that looks cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra stair right here. And I'm going to go on the other side and put one right there. Come on, do it. Ah, did I do it? Probably not. Ah. ah, my legs. No, I didn't do it. I'll just climb up real quick. Um, my laptop noise isn't nearly as loud as it used to be. For some reason, the computer is running slower. Usually, it's like 150 or something like that, 120. But it's running at 65, which is great because the fan is not just blaring super loudly. Is it hot? No, it's not even hot. I can't breathe. So, um, we need half slabs right now. So, let's check on our coal. That is good. I'll split this in half, and I will cook the other side. Well, that's cooking the potatoes. I need potatoes because I'm, I'm, I'm getting hungry all the time, constantly eating food. 
Fortunately, we have enough food to, you know, kind of go around. But sooner or later, we're going to have to upgrade this farm. And I think that's what we're going to do. I need to start my timer. Restart. There we go. So, um, con man's house, fountain. Oh, we need to make a fountain. Maybe we can make a fountain. Maybe we can make a fountain. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, while we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to get some, oh, I need cobblestone. We need more supplies. So, I want to make the fountain. And let's make a to-do list. So, can you put signs on here? Yes, you can. So what I want to do, let's let's see, um, one. That's not that's not a that's not yet. No. Fountain. Two. Um, my house. Three. Uh, caving. So to do these two things, I need a certain amount of materials. Which leaves us with our third option, which is caving. I haven't gone caving because I've been petrified of what might happen if I die. I, I, I fear the ridicule. I fear the social, you know, exile that will be associated with me getting another death. We already have Zai. We already have Kahneman. We don't want to be like them. We want to be. We want to succeed and not die all the time. But it gets pretty difficult. So. But it is something that we have to do because we don't have enough materials. So I've been talking for a bit too long. I think now is the time that we are going to have to go out and seek new life and new civilizations. Going to go caving our first caving episode. Maybe. Um, I'm, I'm not going to need anything else. That's good. This is good. We can make more of this, right? We're going to leave that there. And... We're good. Big Z is online. He's probably prepping his stuff. Um, yeah, maybe I'll ask him if he if he's busy. He's probably busy. He's probably doing something important. I gotta go find some. Oh, he's coming. Oh hey, oh hey. Was what, 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 what's he doing? What's he doing? It's just ouch! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Caving. Also, ow. <laughs> don't hit me don't hurt me you hurt my feelings big z always being a bully where are you going where are you going he's probably he's probably being a silly okay maybe we'll go caving by ourselves he's he's just running he's running where are you going where are you headed what's he doing what's he doing being creepy where are you going is he typing is he typing i'm just gonna hide behind you what's he doing what's he doing he's being creepy <laughs> he's being very creepy <laughs> oh, I don't even know what's going on with him. <laughs> oh, is he? He's he's. Oh, he's talking. He might be recording. He he's just <laughs> he just like looks like an insane person, just punching things and running around in circles. <laughs> just like circling me. You're scaring me. <laughs> Where is he going? What is wrong with him? There there is something very <laughs> There's something very wrong here. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gone. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna go find a cave, guys. And I'll see you in a bit. I think I found a cave here. Let's let's see if we can find our way down safely. Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Someone's already been here. Well, they totally missed like wonderful iron. So, everyone and their mother on the server already has some diamonds for enchanting armor, enchanting tools, and I am left alone here with nothing to do but sit and wait. So here we are. Going to be looking for some cool collectible items. I'll be back later. Boo -ba. <laughs> ba. So, um, we don't need a lot of iron. What we do need is diamonds, and I'm gonna be looking for those. We're looking for diamonds, looking for gold, looking for looking for love. Searching for soulmates. 
this leads down deeper. Someone's already been here though, and it's kind of frustrating. Uh, okay, we're riding down the water slide, and I have a feeling that this is leading to a dead end. Oh, darn it. How high are we? 21. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just start digging in the opposite direction. We'll see where this takes us. We don't need to, like... We don't... We, we just need the stone. We don't need the diamonds. So I'm just going to be doing this. Uh, maybe we can talk about stuff. Stuff that's fun. Stuff that is... Aha! Here we are. We found it. Don't even have to talk about anything. I'm not talking to you guys anymore. So we found ourselves some iron. A cool collection of new blocks to play with. And some coal. We do need a lot of coal. Basically, I want to be powerful on the server. I need to have all the goods. We need to, um, you know, we need to be resourceful. We need to have the diamonds. We need a big, a lot of land to build our empire. And then we need to gain the work ethic first anyway. So, you know, it's okay if we don't have, like, all the diamonds ever. Because then I won't be able to use them because I'm too lazy. But it's okay. <sighs> it's been really good, though. We haven't died yet. And I've been really watching myself. I've been, like, being super careful. I went into this cave, and I haven't seen any... Oh, my God, I dug underneath myself. I'm remembering all those Paul Soros Jr.'s do's and do nots of Minecraft. Like, don't dig underneath yourself, or, like, you know, don't do this or that. I also want some flint and steel so we can start setting some forest fires ablaze. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, making arrows for defending ourselves. That's what I meant. Not forest fires. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so oftentimes, when you're digging gravel, you do tend to find other things. And when you're digging coal, you also find other things as well. So maybe I'll dig this coal a little bit, and maybe we'll see what lies ahead. Um, I'm a big fan of andesite. I'm not a big fan of myonite or diorite. You know, I don't care for those too much. They're just kind of weird looking. But... Andesite is my bee. I love that. I love it so much. It's like stone, but clean. Unless, you know, like right here. Maybe we'll get some. We'll get some of this right here. Maybe 16 blocks. I'm going to use it sparingly. I'm not going to be spamming this everywhere, you know? It's not something you just do, you know? You know, you know. You, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. You follow? You follow me? You follow me on Twitter, right? Oh, lagging. Lagging everywhere. It's okay. <coughs> So, what else can we find in this wonderful cave that is, um, you know, whatever, where we are? Um, more iron. I, so, let's, let's, let's continue down. This, oh, this goes down even farther. Nice. Perfect. So, what has happened in the last few days? I've been working on my setup, actually. Recently, um, for my birthday, I got a little bedroom makeover. Oh! Thank goodness we found this. These are like, they lead automatically to diamonds. They also lead to death from spiders. So we are going to have to be very careful. This is going to be the most exciting episode so far. Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, I've been upgrading my setup. I want to make my setup super nice and comfortable and stuff like that. Ooh, almost missed that. So I recently got, um, we got a new bed set, we got new paint, and I might do a setup tour in the future if you guys want to see that. If that's what you're into, you like setup tours, show you all my gadgets and gears and stuff like that. Um, I got some new shelves and stuff to hold all my games and things like that. I have way too many DSs. Big fan of like PSPs and things. I have a PS Vita, it's wonderful, it's my favorite thing ever. And recently I just got the curtains, and I'm pretty sure, although they add minimal like sound quality, they're good enough to, for removing echo. And I feel like there's a bit, a lot less echo in this room. So that's really nice. Let's just get 64 torches. Don't need to, like, convert all of our coal into torches. And um, as uh, we will continue, maybe every time we make new torches, we will get new coal to um, supplement that. Or um, s replace that, not supplement. Um, so we never run out, because... That's one thing that no one ever gets is coal. They always skip out, especially iron, too. You know, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of it. That's one thing. But you do have a lot of it. So there's a lot of supply, not a lot of demand for it. That's just how it works. So what else was I was talking about? Um, what was I saying? I was thinking about getting new monitors, too. Black Friday is coming up very soon. 
And I think that'd be really nice. And I think we found our first, uh, you know, first good thing going on. This is also how I get rid of lava really quickly. I just place the torches. So we got our first set of gold, yeah. Awesome, awesome, we're not gonna die. We got Lapis too. And I know you're very horrified by the fact that I do not have a fortune pickaxe and am about to mine this Lapis Lazuli, but it is okay. Because you need it to enchant anyway, and you do get a lot, so it's okay. But I do want this gold, however. This gold is very valuable, at least in my book, because it is as rare as, um, pro probably as rare as diamonds, almost, with the fortune pick. Because when you have a fortune pick, it really dilutes the value. People need to stop screaming in this house. It really dilutes the value of the diamond. And, and I, I did the math, and a diamond and a gold piece, when, with, when fortuned, is about the same, you know, the same rarity. It's just the usefulness of a diamond is not, you know, very useful at all. So I often suggest almost having gold as a as a sub currency because. So let's see. I I, I don't have them. Uh, okay, without fortune, you know, diamonds are definitely a lot rarer than gold. But once everyone has fortune, and that's going to be fairly quickly, um, it's not going to be worth a damn. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone's gonna have diamonds, but you know gold is another thing that you can't fortune. So I stand by my reasoning that gold is as rare as diamonds themselves, just significantly less useful. I want to see if there's anything down here. I want to try to get deeper. Yeah, there's nothing here. If I don't find anything by digging in this direction, then it's, we're not gonna continue down this path. Yeah, but I need the I need the cobblestone though. The cobblestone is very important. Um, another thing I was I was very sad about, and every time I look at my microphone, I just get sad. I have the blue spark, and it's supposed to be a really good microphone, right, right, right? But then every time I look at the blue bluebird, I know, great name, huh? If you can, a quick Google search, you know, blue spark, bluebird, bluebird. The bluebird is the one I want. This is the one I didn't buy because it was kind of expensive, and I thought in my, to myself that it would not be worth the price of admission to, you know, purchase this expensive microphone. But one thing I am all about is that bass and no treble. And the blue bluebird <laughs> has, uh, it, it just it just sounds great. I love it. Uh, a lot of um, other YouTubers use the blue bluebird. And it's great. And it just looks so good. I love the way it looks. And it just seems a bit more high profile than the blue spark counterpart. So that's why I, I get sad. It just looks cool. And you know, and there are a lot of my microphones that are almost, you know, that are as good as the blue mics, but they just don't look as good and I probably will never get them because of that reason. The blue microphones, I had a blue Yeti before this and I loved it, it looked so cool. It was like a big, you know, radio microphone and it was, it was the coolest thing ever and then I upgrade and the rest is history, of course. Uh, I, I wouldn't use the Blue Yeti anymore. There's a substantial upgrade between the Blue Spark and the Blue Yeti. If you were to listen to them side by side, um, the Blue Yeti does the job, but it's um, it, 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 it's a lot of that, you know, cashola that you pay for the Blue Yeti goes to the fact that it is a multipolar pattern microphone, which means, if you don't know already, that there are multiple ways and situations that you might want to use a Blue Yeti, including and not limited to podcasts, interviews, voiceovers, and, you know, omnidirectional group settings where you just talk in a group. And that's, you know, that's just how it is. So I'm probably not making any sense. Basically, um, let me put it in another way. If you buy a tool, so let's say you need a knife. You buy, you spend like thirty-five dollars on a Swiss Army knife. It's gonna, you don't, you're, you wouldn't spend. You're, you're spending thirty-five dollars because it has all sorts of different features that are not the knife itself. You know what I mean? It's um. <clears throat> there's more to it than just that one purpose, but you only need it for that one purpose. So why would you spend all that money? Which is why a blue snowball and a blue yeti sound very similar when recorded next to each other. Because the blue snowball is almost like a blue yeti if it didn't have all those extra features. So, getting back to what I was saying. 
um, you know, the Blue Yeti, although expensive, might not be like the super craziest in terms of quality and, you know, high fidelity audio, but it's okay. It's good enough, you know. You buy it because it looks cool and stuff, and that's how what I do, you know. See, si, senor. So, um, by the way, I am Spanish, so I'm not making fun of Spanish people. It's okay. I can say si, senor, without, you know, people getting mad at me. It's okay. So we haven't found any diamonds yet, and there is nothing here for me. I'm just trying to see if I can get anything out of this, like, lava pit. I don't know how they're finding all that stuff. They're probably strip mining is what they're doing. And you guys don't want to see that. You don't want to see strip mining. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah, if I fast forwarded it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to make a cut right here. Maybe we'll find some diamonds in a bit. See you guys in a sec. Found some more gold. Just going down this little corridor here. I'm collecting these things because I think they will be useful in the future. So, four pieces of gold, maybe six, maybe? Nah, probably not. Yeah, nothing else. So, I'm still on the hunt for diamonds, but I have a good amount of stone. Two stacks is good. And I might go collect some more. I'm still collecting all the iron, I see. Um, it's been a couple hours. I was gone. I am back now. Lunch was yummy. Delicious. I had some meat thingy. With some potato. I don't even know what it's called. It doesn't matter. Still getting these things. Ooh, what did I just see there? Oh, I thought it was like a big ravine thing. Um, okay. Uh, there's nothing else here too much. I, mean, I could like run through here. See if I can find anything of value. Maybe. I don't know. More. Oh. Someone's been here. Someone has been here and has already raided and taken all the goodies. They left the minecart tracks, so, though, so these are going to be very useful for when we make nether portals or nether rails. <clears throat> One thing I don't want to do is, you know, spend all my stuff on... Oh, yeah, see, there's some stuff in here. <clears throat> I will gladly take some of these items. Uh, that's fine. I don't need anything else. Um, I'll go this way since oh, oh you terrified you you scared me, Mr. Zombie. You're gonna die. You are dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we got a thingy. Awesome. <clears throat> um, so let's see if this goes anywhere. Oh, we are going deeper into the cave. Ooh, there is mushrooms there. Ooh, I want to stay clear of this area. No, no bueno. No bueno. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's just deactivate that. We de- Oh, oh hi. It's Mr. Skeleton. I almost didn't see you. Oh, lordy. Um, someone's been here. Yep. Saw the cobblestone in the wall. Ah. Uh, Zai and Big Z are online right now. <clears throat> but it's okay. It's okay. We can look the other way. All right. Um, I'm getting boring, so I think I'm just gonna make more cuts and things here. I don't need all this iron. I need the diamonds. A lot of redstone. All right. Oh yes, yes, we made it. We got it. Yeah. Oh. Anyone? Or. Come on, type. <laughs> Alright. Ah, just when I thought all hope was lost, we find ourselves some goodies. <clears throat> Quite a lot, actually. Flippin' Alpha. I don't know if I want to save where these diamonds are. Let's see. We are um, pretty far away from where we're supposed to be, actually. So, I think I'll just take the diamonds and we'll go find some more. But, I'm glad we got them. That's awesome. Thumbnail picture right there. There's a ton of stuff in here, too. Crap. Anything else down here? Knowing me that I would probably die around now. Just kind of like looking around. So, let's head back over there. Let's take a beautiful screenshot of this. Look at our spoils. This looks like, like someone put all this stuff here, too. So maybe, you know, let's, let's make this look better. Let's do that. Yeah. 
And then we'll put some up here. <laughs> Make the thumbnail look really nice. Um, and then maybe we'll put the gold that we found. Yeah. Awesome. Say cheese. Boop. <laughs> that looks like excessive amounts of just, just items here. <clears throat> so let's see how many diamonds we actually have. So we have three visible. I hope we have a little bit more, but I don't think we're going to get any. Just enough for a pickaxe. I know Alpha has a ton of diamonds. Biggs has a ton of diamonds. And I think I will be borrowing from them once they get... Oh, we have an extra one. We have an extra diamond. I We have four. That is awesome. No, we don't. I lied to myself. <laughs> Aw, I thought we had a ton. Woo! <laughs> Yay! So let's just pick up our spoils here. Everyone can see that we got um got that achievement. Maybe there's some stuff. Oh no, my my, my lapis, no. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get some redstone too for the level, so then maybe we can enchant something pretty. Enchant that beautiful pickaxe of ours, get level 30 maybe. Um and then we'll head out of here. So get the lapis as well. <clears throat> Biggs hasn't died yet. I know he wants to just stay alive for the entire time. Oh, I don't know what to do, what to do. I can make a pickaxe. I can make a regular axe to get a ton of wood and all sorts of cool stuff. I don't need all this redstone, though. It's not It's not important for me. You know, it's just it just is. Um, I want to come back here because this is like... Oh, no, my pickaxe. Okay, I still have this thing, though. We can get, you know, some redstone. Just just for just for the levels. I don't do a lot of redstoning. But um I think it'd be a good, you know, skill to have if I can figure it out. You know, I I'd like to. I used to do a little bit. I could make a couple things work. I'm not too bothered at this point by the iron because I want to save my inventory and my pickaxe. I also want to get out of this cave immediately. So um, if there's not, like, anything super special over this way, there's redstone. But I'm not seeing anything crazy. You know. Um, because we are at the lava level. So, I'm just going to use the remainder of our pickaxe to get out of here and head back home. So, this has been a pretty successful, you know, caving trip, of course. Um, let's see. Anything around here? More, more redstone. Don't need it. Don't want it. Skeleton is looking at us oh no no bueno no bueno don't don't kill me could this be the end could this be the end i don't have food either so i can't replenish any health that i get i have to be really sneaky Ah! <laughs> that was close we almost died so i'm ahead out of this cave thank you all for watching this Wonderful episode of me digging around in a hole and getting... Ugh. Shut up, phone. Shut up. No one wants you. Unfortunately, I'm stuck down in this cave. I'll find my way by next episode. Thank you all for watching. Stay fancy, my friends, and I will see you guys next time when I'm richer and out of this cave. Bye bye